Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Mogi Beth, and for those of y'all who are new here, I own a six-figure reselling business selling primarily women's clothing on places like Poshmark and eBay. In today's video, we are da -da -da, <laughs> at the bins, yes, uh, our favorite place on earth. So uh, we're gonna go in, dig through these big blue bins of inventory, the excess inventory that Goodwill had that you know they didn't have the ability to process because they could just get so much stuff and items from Goodwill that didn't sell. That's personally my favorite because here in Portland they price everything up so much that a lot of things don't sell in the Goodwill store, but. They're good. It's good stuff. So hopefully we find a lot of that today. And then we pay by the pound. So here in Portland, it's two nineteen per pound. Unless you get over twenty five pounds, then it drops pretty dramatically to one twenty nine per pound. So always, always, always want to get twenty five pounds if possible. And luckily, recently I've been able to do so. Hopefully we can do that today. It's Friday. I'm actually shooting a day in the life video. I'll link it up on the screen because it was posted a while ago. But it is the morning. It's about 9 a.m. now. And, well, actually, let's check. 9.12. So I have about three hours to find at least 25 pounds. So crossing my fingers. Wish me luck. Hopefully we find some good stuff. All right, let's go inside.
Okay, so I found a good amount in a short amount of time. 31.8 pounds. Found so much good stuff. I'm so excited to show y'all in the haul. Okay, it is time for the haul portion. And just to recap, I spent 41.02 at this bins and got 31.8 pounds, which is great. I'm usually kind of struggling to get 25 pounds. So when I exceed that, I'm really happy. And I remember at this trip, I was shooting the day in the life video. I remember with this thrift trip, the first like 30 minutes, I didn't find like anything and I was kind of freaking out. And then there were a couple good bins rotations and I got really lucky, especially with one of them. I was just standing in just the right place and had this big stack of things that I was able to pick up. So anyways, let's jump into the haul and I'm excited to show you what I found. I found some really good stuff. So, okay, first thing, I don't know if you guys watch my Goodwill bins videos, then you know I've picked this up before. This is adult diapers. <laughs> I'm 38 weeks pregnant as of today filming this haul. So I tried on the other ones that I got at the bins. I found another package of, I think they were Depends and they were way too big. So they didn't have a size on them. This is small, medium, it might be too small, we'll see. But um, this is for postpartum care, fun. But yeah, good to have those because um, they're not cheap. All right, I think that's the only random hard good that I got. A pair of American Eagle jeans. These are for my friends who buy them from me for $4 a pair. I don't think they're currently accepting any more sellers, but if that changes, I'll let y'all know. Goodwill one $9.99 for these, so cool. I got them for much cheaper. Ooh, okay, so this is a, an expensive baby or kids brand. If you're interested in selling baby clothes or kids clothes, because there's so many of them at the bins, I've done uh, Bolo brand videos on both of those, which I'll link at least one of them up on the screen, both of them in the description. I didn't cover this brand, but it's Janie and Jack and it does do well, but I think what I'm gonna do with this actually is take it to maternity consignment or just keep it. It's this quilted floral onesie. It's, Janie Jack's kind of more proper, which is not really my aesthetic as much. So I might just take this to the maternity consignment and see if they want it. I think it should do well there. We'll see. Okay, this Ben Sherman top, that's a menswear brand. This is a really cute top. It's got this contrasting, kind of like a chambray floral with the contrasting deeper blue floral on the inside. So if you wore it open, it'd be really, really cute. I think I might take this, I need to check comps on it, but I think I might take it to Crossroads. Okay, so this is a brand I haven't sold that much of, but I decided to pick it up at the bins because why not? It's Jay McLaughlin, or Jay McLaughlin, Laughlin? I think it's McLaughlin. Let me know in the comments down below if I'm pronouncing it incorrectly. It's a pair of white jeans and they do need to be washed. I think if I just wash them, these little stains will come out. Goodwill wanted $7.99 for them. So I decided I'll pay a lot less and see how they do. Okay, I picked this up. It is J. Crew, size too petite. Picked this up for Mogi Box. It's really cute. It's got these pom-pom details and this fringe details throughout. Really cute and I think it's linen. Feels like 100% linen. Cute. Okay, I picked this up. I think I might take it to Crossroads and see if they want it. If not, I'll sell it. It is a bodysuit. It's got this big back cutout. It's BCBG Generation, which is sold at places like Revolve. Size medium. Yeah, if they don't take it, I will sell it. No problem. Oh, I was really excited about this find. This is a really good baby boba brand. I didn't cover it in my video, so. Here, I'll cover it now. Magnetic Me. It's got magnetic snaps, which make it a lot easier. So a lot of parents really like it. I definitely need to wash it, but it's actually in really good condition. Usually when I find this, they're not in good condition because baby clothes do receive a lot of wear. But yeah, this onesie is looking really good. It's six to nine months, so it'll be a while before she can wear it. Well, it depends on how fast she grows, which y'all remind me, which is good a good reminder because I'm always like quite literal. Like at three months, she'll be here, so she'll start wearing these clothes. But we'll just see. We'll see how big she is. We'll see see how she grows. All right, this is Free People. We the Free is an older piece, but actually I've been picking up older pieces and they have still been selling. And this is like a patchwork type top with the thermal kind of knit sleeves, probably 
going to put this in a muggy box. Okay, this was, okay, so when I was standing waiting for the new rotation, bin came, rolled out in front of me. You have to wait till all the bins are rolled out until you can start. At least that's how it is here in Portland. Typically is the case like that in most places. Sometimes they have like sheets on top of it and they'll like pull the sheets off. It's not like that here, but typically if you've never been to the bins, if you do a new rotation, you're gonna have to wait until all of them are rolled out to start digging. So I was standing in front of the new bin, like looking around as people do, and I saw this knit and I sold this sweater so many times before because I used to be able to buy it new with tag. And I was like, is that that sweater? Is that that sweater? And so it's like the first thing I grabbed when I started digging and I was like, yes it is. And then I found other stuff, which I'll show you in a sec. Okay, so it is Free People. It's this really cute burnt orange color and it's really chunky. Free People, size extra small. And a lot of bloggers wore this sweater. So it's got this like chunky waffle knit. It's got a cow neck. It's kind of a cropped silhouette. Really, really cute. And this is in excellent used condition. So I was really happy to find it. This is American Eagle. Just a little quarter kind of button waffle knit, oversized sweater. Goodwill wanted $7.99 for it. I picked it up for Mogi Box. I thought it was a good piece. I think I picked this up for me. <laughs> I'm just, all I wear these days is oversized t-shirts because I have a big belly. So this is Old Navy, size extra, extra large. And it's cute though. I thought that graphic was really, really cute. So I decided to pick it up for myself. Okay, this is Zara and it is a blouse with this tie detail on the sleeves. It's kind of a more boxy cropped silhouette. What size is it? Size small. So yeah, I'll either take that, I'll probably take that to Crossroads and see if they want it and then if not, I'll sell it. Oh, this was a good find. It is J. Crew Factory, but I actually checked comps on it because blazers, even if they're J. Crew Factory, can still do well. And this is kind of a scuba knit type, or ponty knit maybe, type of blazer, size 12, and comps looked really good. So I was excited to find it. Goodwill wanted $12.99 for it, but I got it for less. Ooh, so in next to that Free People sweater, was this, I think this is like a wall tapestry. It's really pretty. I love the colors, it matches the colors in my nursery. It's like pink and orange. So I want to put this on the wall somewhere. It's new with tags. The brand is Alpa. I need to look it up because I've never heard of this. And maybe it's nothing, maybe it's something, I don't know. But Goodwill wanted $39.99 for it. So I just think it's really, really gorgeous and I love textile wall hangings like this and it's got an even little thing where you can put it on a rod so yeah gorgeous I'm gonna have to look that up definitely couldn't leave that behind to go to the landfill okay this is Hannah Anderson which is a kids brand I like picking up just a little tiered denim dress so cute size five so it'll be a while before she can wear it this is for my friends who buy denim from me this is a pair of coated denim high-waisted American Eagle jeans in excellent condition. So I thought that was a good find. I think I got this one for me too. And I was thinking actually maybe my sister might like it. She's coming to visit me. Yay! In like late July. But it says mother lover, <laughs> which I thought was really cute. I think it's some local brand here in Oregon, Savage Seeds. But I thought that was cute and it looks like it's brand new which is nice. Oh my gosh, I was so excited for this. So there are a few brands that I really love, kids brands. One is Kate Quinn, the other one is Quincy May. And I didn't include these on the baby list because they actually, at least Kate Quinn doesn't retail for very much. So I did comb through comps and they just weren't high enough for me to include on that baby list, but they do, I would still pick them up at the bins if you come across them and then lot them up because a lot of people like love this Riling Crew, which I did cover, and then Kate Quinn, but this is Quincy May. It's three to six months, it's brand new. It's so cute, oh, I love it. It's this like ribbed stripe dress. So, so, so cute and brand new, it's crazy. Okay, found some really good stuff this trip. This is Madewell, size extra small. I don't know if it's all wrinkled. I'm pretty sure I've sold this before. 
It is a wrap top, and this is in excellent condition. It's got the little snap here, and then it wraps around at the bottom. Really cute. Should be easy, easy to list. Another pair of jeans for my friends, Hollister. Skinny jeans. Another pair for them, American Eagle. Skinny jeans, Goodwill one in $9.99 for these. Okay. This is Urban Outfitters, I believe. Yeah, I've been really liking selling Urban Outfitters. I talked about it in my Style Selling Fast video, which I will link up on the screen. Size small, it's a tan and red stripe. Very retro inspired. It does need some sweater shaving, but it's not too bad. Okay, I like to include, or y'all especially like to me to include Lululemon in Mogi Box, so I came across this top, Lululemon. I wanted to pick it up. It's in excellent condition, but it's definitely an older style. Yes, to Lululemon at the bins, yay. Okay, and then this is C by Chloe. It is designer, but C by Chloe is sometimes really hard to move. So I'm gonna take it to Crossroads and Buffalo Exchange and see if they want it. It's got kind of like this bow button detail on the sides there. It's a tunic length sweater with that big scoop neck. Probably a really good material. Yeah, 100% virgin wool, so that's good. And then if they don't want it, I will sell it. Okay, here is a pair of Levi's 501 black cutoff shorts. Need to get these listed soon. Got the button fly on the front, really cute. What size are they? They're a size 25. I got a lot this trip. <laughs> I guess this is what 30 pounds feels like. Uh, another Madewell shirt. This is really cute. Madewell size large. This was in that bin that next to that free people sweater. It's like a it's a t-shirt, but it's like a knitted material, so it's really well constructed and I love those colors. Okay. Pair of Levi's. I probably will take these to crossroads. 511. And then if they don't want them, I will give them to my friends. Or sell them to my friends, I should say. So I was telling you the story, I was digging through that new bin and saw that Free People sweater, saw that tapestry, saw that Madewell shirt, and then I just saw this stack of like, someone had donated this folded denim and I saw Madewell and so I just grabbed the whole stack and put it in my cart. And within the stack was also one of my favorite men's bolo brands, Buck Mason. This is a button-down shirt, which is great. I, I mean, literally, Buck Mason on average sells in one day for me. <laughs> so maybe I'm not pricing it up high enough, but it's just, it's got a really high demand. So I'm not mad about it. We'll see if this one has the same luck. Then when I was going through the Madewell jeans that I found, I figured out they're all men's Madewell jeans, and I haven't sold many men's Madewell jeans. I've sold some other Madewell men's stuff, but one of them I had to leave behind because it was just not in good enough condition. But I got two others. So this is made well. Here's what the men's sizing looks like on there. Really cute men's jeans. So I got really lucky. I'm really excited to see how these do. I don't know if made well men's jeans sell well. But definitely should do well enough to pick up at the bins. 31, 32, lighter wash. So I was so excited. I don't know, I was just really, <laughs> I just got really lucky. I got the free people sweater, got the Buck Mason shirt, got the Madewell jeans, all in that one bin. So I just happened to be in the right spot, which is essentially what going to the bins comes down to a lot of times. All right, this is a Lululemon sweater. Here's the little Lululemon emblem. And it does have a flaw, it has a hole right on the left sleeve here. We have thumb holes, which is always nice. So I'll just disclose it and list as is and list it a little lower, but I think it's still worth picking up. Here's a pair of Hollister jeans that I will sell to my friends. Here is, I don't think this has a brand, but it's like, you know, a muslin cloth, a burp cloth. So I was like, all right, well, we need as many of those as possible. So I went ahead and picked that up. And then this is an Aiden and Anais swaddle, I believe. So yeah, size large, definitely need to wash it, but it's in excellent condition. So that was a good find for me. Okay, and then I got this Winnie the Pooh storybook, which I thought would just be nice, you know, when I'm reading to her at night, reading bedtime stories. So cute. I. 
I actually need to buy more books, but I'm sure I'll collect them over time. This is an Urban Outfitters purse. It is a faux leather crossbody purse and it's in excellent condition. There is a little scuff like right here. I can probably get it out though, honestly. I think I'm gonna take this to Crossroads. And then my last clothing piece. I'm excited to sell this. I think it's really cool. I love this fabric, but this is a brand Indochino and I might see if Matt wants to keep this. They make custom suiting for men, so they'll take your measurements and then basically make you your own suit. Matt's done it once before. This was for a guy named Marvin Washington. So shout out to you, Marvin. So it's a little bit harder to sell just because of that, because it doesn't have a size. But uh, I thought this one was cute enough to definitely uh, pick up. It's 48% wool and 52% linen, so it's a really nice fabric. So yeah, we'll see. I think it's really, really cute. And then my last piece, I think y'all saw me find these, are these Anthropology shoes. These are size six. I just kind of happened upon these. I don't have a lot of luck <laughs> with shoes these days, but these are so cute. So here is Anthropology logo and they have this wooden stacked heel. I think if I add some leather conditioner, it'll look a whole lot better. I've got this gold ring, really cute. So I got lucky with those and they're actually in really good condition. But again, I think adding that leather conditioner will help. Okay, so my camera cut off, but I think what I was saying was that the shoes are in excellent condition. They just need a little leather conditioner and then they'll, I mean, they're, for the bins, they're really, really good condition. So I'm super excited about that. But anyways, since my camera was overheating, I took the liberty of counting how many items that I thrifted and I found 38 items in this thrift haul, which is great. And so at $41.02, my average cost of goods comes out to $1.08 per piece, which is awesome. I'm really, really happy with the things that I found in this haul. I love them. Free People sweater and the Madewell jeans, the Quincy May little dress, so cute. The tapestries, gorgeous, new with tags. So many really awesome things. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite piece from this haul was. And if you like this type of video, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel. We put out new videos every Monday and Thursday that are thrifting, reselling, all the things at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That is the video. Thanks so much for joining and coming thrifting along with me. And I will see y'all in the next one. Okay, love y'all. Bye.